careful out there, Director. here? Guess not. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the Bureau. Probably a loose power core somewhere. should open. Each other? I feel this feels familiar. I can't seem to. I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm. My name is Alan Wake. friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink.
Nothing holds still. We're very close now. You've been riding. You found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding? You found a way! No. I, I don't... Wait. There's something. It's my double. He's out there. I, I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. That was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I bout. What's he doing here? And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. D -d -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. Dr. Emil Harbin, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Harbin. Broke loose, killed everyone it could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. Wake want me to come here. That doesn't look like a house shift. Do I even want to know? This darkness is blocking the door, so now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense.
sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. Understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This, this force, very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it's... is draining me.
investigations. Jesus, don't scare me like that, Langston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple of years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that firebreak. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp. Boy, a flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't brag. Right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out. When he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just gonna talk forever, I always make it home for meal time, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment and she gives Alfred his dinner when I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice food arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably gonna have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for Alfred's food. Okay. Oh, one more thing. And buy her a fruit arrangement. All right, done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. You'd like Alfred. He's very proper, really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Didn't like me getting in her way. Scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move her food bowl. 
That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that That's language kind of harsh. Entirely, um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most people, or animals, or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to, uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston. 